Hi everyone, my name's Jay. I'm James, I'm 27 and I live with rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. And I'm a physiotherapist and I help people dealing with arthritis. Today we're going to go through a series of exercises focused on the knees. So will this help me walk up and climb stairs easier? Definitely. These exercises are going to help us improve the range of movement in the knees and also improve the strength of the knee joint. Now, before we get started, make sure you've got enough space. For some of these exercises, we'll be stood up, we'll also be sat down or laying down. Now, there's lots of different conditions and everyone is unique. So make sure that you take these exercises at your own pace. And if you've got any questions at all, do speak to your healthcare professional. You ready to go, James? I'm ready to go. Now, the first exercise we're going to do today is going to be the seated knee extension. For this one, James and I are going to be sat on a chair, but you can always sit on a sofa or a bed at home as well. So to begin with, we're going to sit up nice and tall and then we're going to slowly straighten up the knee, pulling the toes up to the nose and feeling the tightness in the front of the thigh. We'll then gently return before repeating this exercise. You ready to go with this one, James? Ready to go. Let's start off. So let's slowly straighten that knee, pull the toes to nose and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently back down and again, let's straighten that knee, pull the toes up to the nose, really feel that in the front of the thigh, in those quadriceps muscles and gently back down. And again, let's straighten up as best we can, pull those toes to the nose, this might be getting tough and gently back down. Do we switch legs now then? That's right, let's go with that right side now and Pull the toes to the nose. Don't worry if you can't extend your knee completely straight. Take it as far as you feel comfortable. And again, second time on this side. Let's straighten up as best we can. Now this is a movement that you don't just have to be doing during this exercise routine. You can do it anytime you find yourself sat down, be it having your dinner or sitting in front of the TV. You can always be practicing these. Great stuff, everyone. Now let's get into the leg cross. So for this exercise, we're gonna stay seated, nice and tall. We're gonna cross our ankles over one another, straighten our knees whilst pressing the legs into one another. We're then gonna hold that position for as long as we comfortably can. For James and I, that's gonna be 15 seconds before we slowly return and repeat on the opposite side. Are you ready to go, James? Let's get into it. So let's cross those ankles. Press them into one another as we straighten the knees and hold up at the top. Should really start to feel this exercise in our quadriceps on the front of our thighs. Make sure you're pressing down as best we can, holding for as long as you comfortably can. Doing great there, James. And we'll take it down from there and can, swap sides. You can really feel that one in the leg muscles. Definitely. Now, strengthening these quadriceps muscles are going to help us when it comes to sitting and standing, picking things up around the house as well, and also climbing stairs. Now, this exercise we can do as well whilst we're sat down watching the television or even having our dinner. Great stuff there. Our next exercise is the sit to stand. So for this one, you're going to need to be sat at least 90 degrees at the knees, if not higher. I'm gonna work from a chair, but James is sat on a cushion to make it slightly easier. So for this exercise, we want our feet at hip width apart, feet flat on the ground and knees above the ankles. We're going to put our hands in front of us and gently stand up without pushing off of anything. From there, I want you to sit down slowly and gently back onto your seat. You ready to go with this one, James? Ready to go. Let's go. Hands together. And let's push through the feet and gently sit back down again. And again, let's push through the feet up nice and tall and gently sit back down again. So the key here is to sit down as quietly as possible. How are we feeling there, James? I'm feeling the burn. So this is going to be tough on the thighs if you're not used to it but a great exercise to strengthen up all the muscles around that knee joint 
and improve the range of movement at the knee also. Last three to go everyone. Gently coming back down, standing up tall. Doing great there James, we're nearly done. And final one, let's stand up nice and tall and sit back down. Great stuff. And that's us. Now this is an exercise that you can do throughout the day and feel free to do more than 10 if you're comfortable doing so. So the next exercise is going to be the step up. For this, you're going to need the bottom step of your staircase or if you live in a flat or bungalow, you can use an outdoor step as well. We're going to use our step box. We're going to start by finding a nice good posture. Make sure that we're tall throughout the movement. We'll step with our left foot up first and back down and then lead with our right foot and back down. So do you want to go at that James? Let's give it a try. So let's go leading with the right foot first and back down and then the left foot and back down. And again leading with the right foot and back down and then the left foot and back down. Now James has got good balance. If you're not as comfortable balancing as James is, feel free to use a wall or banister to lean against. Great stuff there James. And last one. Brilliant, there we go. So we got your pulse raised a little bit with that last exercise. You'll be very pleased to know the next few we're going to be laid down for. Now, James and I have both got a rolled up towel because we're gonna need it for the next couple of exercises. Now, I'm gonna be laid down on the yoga mat. James is gonna use the sofa, but you can use a bed at home as well. James, would you like to have a lie down? I would indeed. I'll use the side of the sofa to ease myself in and scoot over a bit before turning into the position. Now James is down, I'm going to do the same at my yoga mat. So I come down, have a sit on my side, come round to my side and roll onto my back. So we're going to straighten the knee and drop the heel onto our rolled up towel. From this position, we're going to be pushing the knee down towards the ground or the sofa where we'll hold that position for five seconds whilst pulling the toes up towards the nose. We'll then relax and repeat again. Are you ready to go James? I'm ready to go. Let's do three repeats of five seconds each side. So heel on the towel, let's push that knee down, pull the toes to the nose, squeeze through the thighs for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And again, pull the toes to the nose, let's push that knee down, squeeze and hold, three, two, one, great stuff. One last time this side, let's pull the toes to the nose, press that knee down, squeeze and hold, really tightening up through the quadriceps muscles there, and relax. Let's have a swap onto the other side. When you're ready, toes up to the nose, let's push down through that knee, squeeze those quadriceps muscles, hold in for five seconds and relax. Two more to go. Toes to nose, push down through the knee, squeeze and hold, and three, two, one. Final one now. Pull those toes to the nose, press that knee down, squeeze those quadriceps muscles and relax there. Well done everyone. And now the quadriceps strengthening with roll. You're going to need to support your thigh for this exercise. James and I are using a folded cushion, but at home you might use a large rolled up towel or otherwise. So for this exercise, all we're gonna do is pull your toes to your nose, straighten up your knee, feel the tightening in your quadriceps muscles and a stretch down the back of your calf. We'll hold that position for five seconds before gently returning down. 
Are you ready to go with this one, James? Let's give it a crack. Let's go for three rounds of five second holes each thigh. And let's pull the toes to the nose, straighten the knee, squeeze those quadriceps muscles and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently return back down. And again, pull the toes to the nose, straighten the knee, hold that position, really feel it in those quadriceps muscles there and gently back down. Last time on this side, pull the toes to the nose, straighten the knee as best you can, feel a bit of a stretch down the back of the calf also, and gently back down. Let's switch legs. Move your support onto the other side, and pull those toes to the nose, straighten the knee, tense those quadriceps muscles, and hold there. How are we feeling there, James? I'm just happy to be sat down. <laughs> Aren't we all? And again, pull the toes to the nose, straighten that knee, feel that in those quadriceps muscles as they tighten up, slowly going back down. Last time through here, this is really good for improving your knee straightening capabilities. And slowly back down. Well done, everyone. The next exercise is going to be the lying straight leg raise. So make sure you're laid down to begin. We're going to start with one knee bent and our foot planted firmly into the ground. From this position, we're going to bring our toes to the nose, straighten the leg, squeeze through those quadriceps muscles, engage the abs as we lift the foot a few inches off the ground, where we'll hold for five seconds before gently returning down. You ready to go with this one, James? Let's get going. Let's do it. We're gonna work five rounds of five second holds. And let's press into that foot, engage the abs, pull the toes towards the nose, straighten that knee as we lift up and hold for five, four, three, two, one, and gently come back down. And again, let's pull the toes to the nose, engage the abs, lift that heel off the ground, and hold that position, really squeeze through those quadriceps muscles on the front of the thigh, gently coming back down. And again, let's pull the toes up towards the nose, straightening that knee as much as you're able to do so and gently return back down. And again, let's lift that foot up and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently back down. Last one on this side. Let's take it up, engage those abs, squeeze and hold. Three, two, one. Gently down. Let's swap sides there, James and pull the toes up towards the nose, straighten that knee. Let's engage the abs and lift up as best we can. How are we getting on there, James? I actually quite like this one. Good stuff. And gently return. And one more time on this side, let's pull the toes to the nose, straightening up. This is great for building strength in our quadriceps muscles, our abdominal muscles. Gently return, and again, let's go up, toes towards the nose, press through that planted foot, hold there for three, two, one, gently down, two more to go. Let's lift up, squeezing through those quadriceps muscles. It's hard work, and gently coming back down, and last time, Let's pull the toes to the nose, engage those abs, pull that heel off the ground. Three, two, one, and there we go. So we're gonna finish off now with the thigh stretch. For this exercise, you're going to need something to lean against. James and I are both lean against the edge of the sofa, but you can use a wall or the edge of your bed as well. Now, we're gonna begin by bending one knee, and then we're going to gently pull the heel of the other leg towards your bum and gently return. 
If you do find that difficult though, you can do like James is doing and just keep both legs straight and bend one at a time. So, you ready to go James? Last one, let's do it. Let's go for 10 repeats on each side. And let's slowly drag that heel towards your bum and gently return. And again, slowly drag that heel towards your bum and gently return. Remember to go at your own pace with these exercises. Bring your heel as close to your bum as you feel comfortable and then straighten out that leg as best you feel comfortable. This exercise is great for stretching out the muscles around the knee and improving the strength of the muscles at the back of the leg also. That's great, let's get our last two on this side before we switch over. Great stuff there James. And let's switch legs there. How are you finding this James? I think the more I do, the easier it gets. I can really feel the joints like loosening up. Brilliant, and that's the main use for this exercise. To loosen up those knee joints and improve the flexibility of those muscles around the knee. Let's go, last five repetitions. Pull that heel up to the bum as close as you comfortably can and gently return. We're nearly at the end. Starting to feel those knees loosen off a little bit more. Last one, straighten out and that's us. And that's the end of our knee routine. How are you feeling James? My knees are feeling great and a lot less stiff. Brilliant. Hopefully these exercises have helped you start to build some strength in your knee joints and also improve the range of movement. Try do this routine at least once a day and we'll see you next time.